Let's talk about the differences between carbohydrates that you find in your diet. First, let's define what carbohydrates are. You can think of carbohydrates like little tiny chains of sugars. There's really three overarching classes of carbohydrates, and those are monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides and disaccharides are chemically the smallest chains that you can see, whereas polysaccharides are multiple chains of little sugars. Your body essentially snips off these little sugars one by one to digest them. Monosaccharides are things like glucose, fructose, and lactose, whereas disaccharides contain two monosaccharides. The easiest example I can give you is sucrose, which contains both glucose and fructose. <laughs> Sounds a little confusing, I know. So table sugar contains both glucose and fructose, but monosaccharides and disaccharides in general are the most low molecular weight and simple carbs. So I want you to think about this in two classes, simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. These things will have different impacts on your blood sugar when you test them after you eat a meal. Simple things like monosaccharides and disaccharides are digested very rapidly and tend to have a higher glycemic index. Glycemic index is defined by the rise in the blood sugar after you eat a specific meal. You can think of things like a candy, fruit juices, and fruits contain easily rapid digestible carbs that will spike the blood sugar faster. Complex carbs found in more whole foods and grains can tend to, will tend to contain fiber, which will slow down their absorption. It's important that you're continuing to test your blood sugars in response to these foods because people who are insulin resistant have prediabetes or diabetes will have a increase in the hyperglycemic effect after they eat those foods. Sometimes taking these foods out of the diet will be the best thing in controlling your blood sugar response until your insulin resistance is repaired.